Welcome to another episode of The Chef Educator, the show that provides and discusses various teaching tools, tips, and techniques for the culinary, hospitality, and pastry arts educators. And now, coming to you through the airways from Palm Beach County, Florida, here is your host, doctor, professor, and chef, Mr. Colin Rowe. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Chef Educator Podcast, the show where we explore the world of education, share insights, tips, and strategies for teaching the next generation of chefs. I'm your host, Dr. Colin Roach, and today we're diving into the fascinating world of presentation skills and how to connect, engage, and inspire your audience. In a world where presentation technology has evolved, we often find ourselves stuck in the rut of death by PowerPoint. We all know the struggle of enduring a monotonous presentation that leaves us counting down the seconds until it's over. But fear not, because whether you are a seasoned educator or a new teacher, the goal of this episode today is to talk about some of the approaches and insights we can all use to become a more captivating and impactful presenter and learn to deliver more powerful and engaging presentations. So presentation technology has come a long way, but the truth is the art of presenting hasn't always kept up. Death by PowerPoint? Yep, still a thing. You would think as technology advanced or advances, that presentations would evolve as well. But the truth is, death by PowerPoint still haunts many conference rooms and classrooms today. However, there's hope. While the tools have evolved, the fundamentals of effective presenting remains the same. It remains steadfast. It's like it always was. And at the heart of it all, there's an essence, a naturalness. That's the key to winning over your audience. So what's this naturalness all about? Well, it's a secret ingredient to captivating your audience. The legendary Dale Carnegie once said that effective communication should feel so natural that your audience never suspects you have been trained. It's about connecting on a personal level that transcends the technology at our fingertips. Now, you can't force this naturalness, but you can learn to embrace it. So how can you achieve this level of connection with your audience? Well, it's not about pretending or putting on an act. It's about stripping away all that's unnecessary and getting to the core of your message. And it's not a recent revelation either. I mean, think back. Remember show and tell from our elementary school days? When we were up there in front of our classmates, we were honest, we were engaged, and our stories were authentic. So now it's time we recapture that spirit and bring it back to our adults' presentations. And there's a fantastic book I want to recommend to you all. It's called The Naked Presenter, Delivering Powerful Presentations with or Without Slides. It's by Gar Reynolds. This book is a goldmine of insights on how to connect with your audience on a deeper level and a must-read for anyone looking to excel in the world of presentations. And I'm going to include some links to the book in the show notes uh, in case you want to get more information on it. It's an older book, so you can probably get it on Amazon. Again, I'll, I'll put a link there even purchase it used. But the basic essence of presenting naked is connecting, engaging, and stripping away unnecessary barriers. And one of the core concepts is being true to yourself and less about formalities. So what does it mean to present naked? Well, it's obviously not about actually being up there talking without your clothes on. Don't need to worry about that. Instead, it's about connecting and engaging with your audience in a way that's direct, honest, and clear. It means putting your audience's needs first and being transparent and taking a chance by by allowing yourself to be vulnerable and exposed. Think about it like this. When you present naked, you're like a samurai entering battle without armor, facing your audience directly without any barriers between you and your audience. It's about authenticity and stripping away anything that's there just for your benefit rather than the audience's. Shedding unnecessary armor would be things like relying on notes or hiding behind a lectern. Things 
that when removed can elevate your presentation to a whole new level of authenticity. Let me pose this question to you. Are presentations performances or conversations? Well, if you said a performance, then it's time to shift your perspective. Most experts agree that presentations should feel like genuine conversations. And learning to adopt this approach can help you bridge the gap between yourself and your audience, whether you're speaking to a handful of people or a room packed with thousands. Embracing a conversational approach is an effective way to connect with your audience. But you ask, how do we actually embrace this naked approach? Well, it's all about letting go of things that hold us back as presenters. To start, get rid of unnecessary slides and complicated visuals. And forget about sticking to a rigid agenda and a rehearsed script. We need to cast off our sense of self-importance, and embrace the fact that we are there to communicate, not to impress. In other words, you are not presenting because you are important, but because the audience is important. It's hard to make a connection if you put yourself on a pedestal, literally or figuratively. You are there to communicate, not to impress anyone. You should not have any personal aims or cares, other than to communicate your message effectively. You have no worries that people won't like your style. Just be yourself, be authentic, and care deeply about the audience. And then trust that the rest will take care of itself, and it will. Remember, one who presents naked feels free. Free from worry. Free from anxiety over what other people may or may not think free from self-doubt, free from tricks and gimmicks and the pressure we have to pull those off, free from hiding behind anything, including slides and the fear of possible exposure that accompanies such hiding. A naked presenter removes all encumbrances and instead is totally in the moment while engaging with the audience. And if multimedia is used, it fits well within the talk and is harmonious with the message. Simple, well-designed visuals are in sync, yet never steal the show or rise above serving a strong, supportive role that helps engage the audience. So my advice is to think conversation, not performance. It's tempting to think of presentations like a performance. Often we are up on stage, there's lights on us, we're standing in front of a group of people, We're there waiting for us to deliver the goods. However, while there are some things we can learn from performers, such as dealing with nerves and how to project our voice and so on, it is much better to view the art of presentation as a conversation. And most communication experts today agree that a good talk or a good presentation should feel more like a conversation. Therefore, I suggest you stop thinking that every time you stand up to say something, you are making a speech, because you're not. What you are really doing is having an enlarged conversation. You're not performing a rehearsed monologue, but having a conversation. Imagine you're just chatting with your friends or your colleagues or fellow enthusiasts in your field. And this approach bridges the gap between presenter and audience making your message resonate on a personal level. Now let's talk about breaking down barriers. The lectern, it's a barrier. Notes on your slides, another barrier. Your aim is to communicate, not to hit your audience with a barrage of facts or numbers or stats. Start from where your audience is and guide them towards a new perspective with genuine care. And here's a great piece of advice that was given to me years ago, and that is, don't be boring. Whether you're a scientist, a business professional, a teacher, or even a student, being boring is never an excuse. Maybe you're a science teacher, a mathematician, you believe your technical background makes you inherently a boring presenter. Well, think again. Even the most technical subjects can be presented in a way that captivates and engages. 
Just look at people out there like Carl Sagan, who captivated audience with his passion for the cosmos, or people who present technical subjects in their TED Talks. It's all about removing barriers, making eye contact, and using language that appeals to emotion and curiosity. Remember, there's no excuse for being dull. Now, it is true that over the last few years, the state of presentations have gotten better. Many researchers and business people and teachers and even students have seen the light and are creating and delivering presentations that appeal to both logic and emotion. And if they use multimedia or other forms of visuals, they are well thought out and designed according to fundamental design principles, not tired template cliches. Organizations such as TED Talks have proven the value and influence that well-crafted and engaging presentations can have to teach, and to persuade, and even to inspire. Progress is being made on the presentation front. However, on the whole, the majority of presentations in business and in academia are still mind-numbingly dull, tedious affairs that all fail to connect and even engage our audiences even though the content may be important. In other words, the bar is still relatively low when it comes to the quality of presentations. And this is not bad news necessarily. In fact, it's an opportunity, which is why I wanted to put this episode out. It's an opportunity for all of us to stand out, to make a real difference with our ideas. The ability to stand and deliver a powerful presentation that engages the whole minds of the audience members has never been more important than today. Some have even called our modern era the presentation generation. And that is because the ability to speak passionately, clearly, and visually is more important today than ever before, partly because of the fantastic reach that our talks can have. And that's largely thanks to the power of the internet. That's how I'm reaching you with this podcast. The potential of our speech or our presentation to change things, maybe even change the world, goes far beyond just the words spoken. Now, words are important, but if it were just about words, we could create a detailed document, right? We could write it all up, disseminate it, that would be that. Effective presentations, though, allow us to amplify the meaning of our words. And imagine your presentation, not just as words spoken, but as a powerful force that can change minds inspire action, and yes, even change the world. It is not just about the technology you use, but how you connect with your audience that truly matters. Our presentations aren't just about words. It's about amplifying their impact through visuals and tone and connection. So, whether you're a chef, an educator, a scientist, a business professional, Never underestimate the power of a well-crafted, engaging presentation. You have important ideas that are worth sharing. It's time to shed the fear, be bold, make a difference. So as we conclude today's episode, remember this. Technology and tools are there to support, clarify, and amplify your message. But the core of presenting lies in the human connection. Whether you're addressing a group of three or 3,000, Presenting naked with authenticity, uh, vulnerability, and a genuine connection is the way to truly, truly captivate your audience. Okay, that's all the time we have for this episode of the Chef Educator Podcast. Thank you for joining us. And remember, presenting isn't just about information. It's about transformation. So go out there shed those barriers, and present your ideas with the authenticity they deserve. Until next time, keep learning, keep teaching, and keep cooking up greatness, not just in the kitchen, but on the stage too, by presenting with passion and authenticity. Thanks for listening. Take care and bye-bye. The Chef Educator Podcast is a proud member of the Food Media Network, and we hope you enjoyed the show and this episode. Your feedback and comments are always welcome, and they help us in making the best show possible. So please let us know what you think. 
You can email your comments to foodmedianetwork at gmail.com, all one word, foodmedianetwork at gmail.com, or even leave us a voicemail on our audience response hotline. And that number is area code 207-835-1275. That's 207-835-1275. We would also appreciate it if you would share the podcast with everyone you know. And don't forget to buy us a coffee or two if you want to support the show and our efforts. Just go to www.buymeacoffee.com slash Chef Roach or through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Dr. Professor Chef. That's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. We truly appreciate any help and support you provide. Thank you in advance.